Here's an aerosol tanker that was followed by another aircraft, either on a training mission or if this was a FedEx pilot or something, but he took videos from the cockpit. What's interesting here is the uh, uh, the tanker crosses yet another uh, aerosol layer that was uh, sprayed below, uh, and he makes this uh, characteristic X in the sky. So here we have a pilot with a video camera on, encounters uh, one chemtrail tanker. You can tell because there's no separation between the engine and the beginning of the persistent contrail. And he goes along for a while, and then he encounters yet another one uh, that's uh, dropping aerosols right alongside of him at a higher altitude. Then the pilot descends to a new flight level and a third aerosol tanker shows up. Here's a passenger in an oriental uh, aircraft uh, taking pictures outside the windows of uh, aerosols that have been laid down. Here's a montage of uh, stills that have been taken over a period of time and somebody's put them together in a, to show the variety uh, of these aerosols in the sky. Uh, these are luminized for the most part. Every time we measure them, they have aluminum particles in them. This is uh, Alzheimer's in the making, uh, in some people's opinion. And here they are, um, and the diversity is not just in the United States, Canada, South America, as far down as Patagonia, we see them uh, by MODIS satellite in uh, polar region in Europe and the EU is being very heavily sprayed uh, even over Israel um, in the Middle East Afghanistan in the fighting area over there and now even in China we never used to see them in China before but now this is global even over the open waters of the Atlantic and the Pacific the Hawaiian Islands are inundated with these things. So there you have it. They're spraying us. Chemtrails. On the internet, they are cited as proof of the government creating clouds to combat global warming. You know, maybe I'm putting a particle into the atmosphere because I'm trying to make money, or maybe I'm putting a particle into the atmosphere because I'm engaging in scientific research and trying to understand cloud physics. Or maybe I'm putting this particle in the atmosphere because I'm trying to make it rain. This is one of the boldest moves, I think, from Ed Griffin yet. This is the taboo topic that nobody's supposed to talk about, and that is aerosol spraying. This obviously raises all kinds of questions. It's hugely risky. Uh, it will likely negatively impact some people, but we might find ourselves in a situation where those risks seem worth taking. Why is this being allowed to be sprayed continually all over the United States, all over the world? Uh, who is paying for this? Here for the first time, we have this scientific uh, proof that we are being spread. We are being spread, and it's incredible, and it's hard to believe, but we are being spread. I think it's high noon to bring this to the public. You're not an expert, but you're a concerned citizen who said, wait a second, it's actually doing I want to, yeah, you're doing the research, and that's what we need to do as Americans, and say, you know what, I want to know what's going on, I want to know what the FDA is doing to my food, I want to know what the government's doing with my air, my water, and, and, and the soil, and, you know, it's just great what you're doing, and, and, and I, I just, my kudos to you for, for bringing light to this subject. in the world are they spraying? Thank God people are asking this question. That's all we want. We just want to be able to ask these questions. We ask the question, what in the world are they spraying? And we now know what it is. And folks, you're not going to like it.